so the show had been canceled because we our contract ran out with the network but because the fans made such a big fuss the network signed us again we're back so welcome back to season two of bible time with Bo. hello everybody and welcome to week two of the the youth theology institute formerly known as youth theology institute now is connect i just got my words mixed up it's okay guys <laughs> we're back with week two and you know me and will got to think we're gonna have a bonfire and i was like man I really am just thinking about that time Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego about got burnt up. Yeah. But I, you know, I remember. I remember something, Will. I remember something. What do you remember, Bob? Look, that the Lord was always with them in the fire. Oh. Just, just, just like he is in our lives. And guess what? He might even give you a delicious s'more to make Ooh. it through. That's good, Bo. This has been season two of Bible Time with Bo. Tune in tomorrow to hear Bo say. I'm allergic to marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at Walmart, and it's time for another installment of Bible Time with Bo. Oh, sorry. You said Bible time, not not Star Wars time. Yes. Well, hello, everybody. We're at the Rocky Mount Walmart. We had to come get new pools because last week in Slip and Side Kickball, everybody popped it. It was bad. So we had to get new ones. But you know what? That's okay because I'm encouraged in here today. You know what I will? Why is that, Because Bo? when I think about a pool and I think about water, uh -huh. I think about living water. Ooh. And I think about being baptized. Oh. You know, I was just thinking about John the Baptist stuff. I was like, he said, you know, I'm going bab to baptize you in water, but there's one coming after me. He's going to baptize you with fire. Oh. With the Holy Spirit. Like a lightsaber. And that, yeah, exactly. Like a lightsaber. I mean, the Holy Spirit, you know, basically, exactly like a lightsaber. I mean, it is the sword of the Spirit, right, Bo? Exactly. So, oh, whew. It's a sort of fire. Man, we're preaching. Ooh, this has, this has been Bible Time with Bo. Tune in next time to hear Bo say. I accidentally hurt myself with a lightsaber. I thought he was going to say you are my father or something. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode nine, season two of Bible Time with Bo. Well, hello everyone and welcome to my biblical cooking show. Today I have a little bit of oatmeal with a little bit of Greek yogurt and some honey. Now, we know that the Greek language is very important in the New Testament. That's right. But I want to talk about the Old Testament. You know, when I think of milk and honey or yogurt, you know, because yogurt is better than milk, let's be honest. When we think about the meaning behind milk and honey, honey is sweet, and milk provides all the nutrients we need to live. And so when I think of this, I just think of when God said that in the promised land, the Israelites were going to be going into the land of milk and honey, they would always be nourished and be satisfied by the sweetness of God's love. Ooh, that's pretty good. Be blessed and be encouraged, everyone. This and has I been Bible Time with Bo. Tune in next time to hear Bo say, I'm actually like those and dollar. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here at Peacemakers. We are organizing books. It's time for another episode of Bible Time with Bo. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Peacemakers, where we are sorting books and going through, you know, we're starting over here with the preschool books, you know, Things like, you know, books about apocalypses and scary things. <laughs> Middle school books. We have found some books. left behind books. But the, I, me and Will were looking through, we found my personal favorite book out of all these. It's called, the, you can't read it, The Save Your Life Defense Handbook. Mm. And in here we have, you know, a few pictures about, you know, how to fight people if they attack you. Like, this guy's like, wow, taking a knee to the face. And, you know, anyway, <laughs> when I was thinking, I was like, this is such a misleading thing because this. This book right here is not going to save your life. Oh, that's right. But the only thing it's going to save, we had a few Bibles in here. That's, that's right. the real save your life. That's right. Book. <clears throat> you know, I just want you guys to be blessed and encouraged to let, to let God fight your battles. That's awesome. But, you know, if somebody runs up on you, you just hit them with a little, you know, just hit them right in the face, just like I just did Will. Well, and yeah. if you got a problem, you can hit somebody with a Bible, too. Yeah, that I mean, that's too. That's a pretty big book. That, too. This has been Bible Time with Bo. Tune in next time to hear Bo say. I'm going to use a, one of my moves ah, on him. Ah! Hey guys, we're in the North Carolina Museum of Art and it's Bible time with Bob. We gotta be kind of hey. quiet. Hey, shush, Josh, don't touch the art. Hello, everybody. We're at the North Carolina Museum of Art. Well, we're looking at these biblical paintings and such. Here we have. Come see. Yes, come, come look. Come hither. <laughs> so, when I was looking at this, and there's another painting that will pair with it over there. You can go ahead and pan over there if you want, over there. Okay, so I was looking at these two. I was just thinking about. You know, it'd be great to let people know, since I talk about the Holy Spirit all the time, why do we have the Holy Spirit, do you ask? Yeah, good question. Well, we see here in the Ascension, these are Jesus' see, these are Jesus' feet. We're going to assume that's Jesus. Yes, these, yes, because Jesus is floating up into heaven. He's he leaving earth. He's like, hi guys. Like, okay. So, and he says that, you know, he's got to go away so he can send the helper. That's right. You know, well, the helper, the Holy Spirit, is coming up here with him. Okay, well, 
a few days later, I think it's about a month later, on yeah, the day 40 of Pentecost. 40 days. On the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit comes and you know, affects us all. People begin speaking in tongues and prophesying and preaching and telling of the word to people who don't even understand our language. It's pretty cool. It is only by the power of God that we could have done this. Absolutely. And it is, we're thankful that Jesus went up to heaven on the ascension, on the day of the ascension, so that one day we can rise with him. But until then, we have the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. This has been Bible Time with Bo yes. in the Art Museum. And by the way, thank you, Miss Caitlin, for the camera. Yes, thank You're you welcome. so much. Tune in next time to hear Bo say. Uh, well, I'm probably going to keep that because I've touched like all the art. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is Friday of week two of Connect, which means that it is time for the final episode of Bible Time with Bo. Well, hello, everybody. We're here at the Dunn Center lobby enjoying a nice luncheon of cookies and sandwiches and all these things. I'm having a nice, delicious cup of coffee. You know, just reflecting on the past week and the past two weeks with you guys, a little bit sad to see that it's, this is coming to an end. But as I, we were talking about the end of Connect, my brother Will reminded me, he said, you know, when Jesus died, everybody thought it was the end. They did. It was sad. But guess what? Three days later, he rose again. That's exactly now, right. Now, now we're not going to rise in three days. No. But Connect 19 will rise up. Mm -hmm. And we will. Mm, we will. We will come like a phoenix from the ashes. Actually, I'm Will. He's just Bo. Yes, and we will. We will screech. We will go. Rah! You know, <laughs> and we will. We will be more powerful than ever. Mm. But I would like to share a word of encouragement with everyone. Oh, please do, Bo. Be, be a little bit serious at the end here. Preach, Bo. Because I have learned a little something over this past week. What'd you learn, Bo? And that is the importance of sharing our testimonies with others mm -hmm. and listening to others' testimonies. Ooh, preach, Bo. Because. I mean, the word says we will overcome by the, by the blood, blood of the, of the lamb, lamb and the, and the word, word of our testimony. Of our testimonies. So I would like for you guys to be blessed and encouraged by that. And do not be afraid to open up your heart and share your feelings with others. Mm, that's empowering. Yes. This has been season two of Bible Time with Bo. Tune in next year to hear everyone say, We love you, Bo!